like scary movies. Well, if you do, you're in the right place. Today, we're gonna talk about the Scream original trilogy box set in 4K. And uh, if you stay tuned, you'll be able to find out how you can win the digital copy codes that will redeem in 1080 uh, from the Blu-ray set. So stay tuned. Welcome dudes of Foxy Dudettes to the Well-Rounded Dude Late at Night Edition. Why is it Late at Night Edition, you may be asking? Because I just watched the original Scream trilogy because I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this box set. Um, you know, this whole video started off like a few days ago when I saw on Amazon that they have the original box set, this box set we're going to be talking about, for $36.99 in US dollars. That is a incredible price and, uh, you know, I told you guys about it on YouTube, and I told you guys about it on Instagram and Facebook. So if you haven't followed us yet, it's a no-brainer. You should be, because I'm going to continue to give you great deals on 4K releases and other things I think you guys may need uh, on social media. So be sure to subscribe. This way you won't miss out, because it'll be posted in the community tab like the deal for the Scream series, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And, uh, you know, follow us on all other forms of social media. But now, let's talk about this box set. Uh, once I saw that this was on sale, I realized that there is a, um, a really huge piece of horror physical media missing in my collection. I did not own any of the Scream movies, at least the original trilogy, on physical media. And that is a travesty, at least I thought so. So I bought it thinking, you know, I could fill a piece of my collection, but also to let you guys know if it's any good, you know, so we're going to break it down. We're not going to be talking too much about uh, the movies themselves. We're just going to be talking about the transfers because a review may be coming down in the future. Hint, hint. All right. So uh, what is this box set? include. Uh, it includes the original movie from 1996, Scream, its sequel from 1997, Scream 2, and uh, Scream 3 from 2000. All in 4K, all in beautiful 4K UHD glory, but it also has on Blu-ray the original trilogy too. So uh, let's break it down. First of all, we will look at Scream the original movie from 1996. Uh, I love that they went with this um, artwork. You know, usually for Scream, they kind of show like the original cast photo or whatever, like on the poster, or this was actually like the original poster, but they show like the cast one because, you know, they were trying to, you know, cash in on the attractiveness of the cast, which I don't blame them, but still. Uh, but in this, you get uh, the digital copy and your disc will look like this. Now, I will warn you, for anybody who's gonna try to, this code has already been redeemed. Um, it's mine, you can't have it, so don't bother. Um, but that's what the disc looks like. You just get the 4K disc and the digital code. Um, I should also mention here too, before I forget, that each of these, uh, each of the things that we're going to talk about, each of the movies, are available individually. So if you already have Scream or you have Scream 2 or Scream 3 on 4K and you just don't want the other ones or for whatever reason, you can buy these individually. And individually, they are also on sale. That's going to be listed down in the description along with uh, the box set. The rest of the, you know, I think your best bet, best bang for your buck is the box set at $36.99. Um, I think this one is listed individually for uh, $14.99, and they do have a steel book, which is a pretty cool steel book, I will grant you that, um, but that's $25. Bucks. So again, that'll all be listed down in the description. So how did the transfer come out? Transfer came out great, in my personal opinion. Uh, this is the best that Scream has ever looked. Uh, I did not realize there was such a controversy of the Scream movies on Blu-ray. Um, there seemed to be some wacky DNR going on with, with some fake grain. Uh, for my film aficionados, grain is kind of like what, like trying to make it look like film. And they just kind of like muffed the colors and it, it, it looked 
or looks pretty, pretty funky. But this, I mean, this movie looks like it was shot yesterday. Uh, everybody looks great. Uh, you know, in the original movie, there are some scenes in there where, you know, some sunshine, uh, at least in the beginning, uh, the sun looks great. Everybody looks tan. It looks, you know, like the sun is actually out. It, it you know, like a perfect teen movie, <laughs> for lack of a better term. I did talk about the cast earlier, right? So everybody looks their best in the sunshine and, and they look great in the movie. Um, for the dark parts, for, you know, when Ghostface is coming around and, and such, he does look pretty menacing. The blacks are, you know, you got your inky blacks in there. It is all in all a great transfer. The dark movie, it's, it's dark parts of the movie, I should say. It's dark, but uh, not like, like you can't see anything. It doesn't have that kind of issue that, uh, you know, like the, the Friday the 13th uh, 4K uh, had. A lot of people were complaining about that it's just too dark. This is, it's dark, but you can still see everything. And you know, like I said, everybody still looks good. It doesn't look fake. Um, that's a problem that the uh, True Lies uh, 4K that it has is going on. Everybody kind of looks fake from what I've heard. Uh, you know, James Cameron kind of has his hands on the uh, on the editing. He just kind of makes everybody look kind of like fake. And it, it's weird. That, but that's what I'm hearing. But you don't get this in here. Everybody looks like people. The transfer is great. The sound is awesome. Now, I have heard that this has... Uh, Dolby Vision, they do not say that on this packaging. So I'm, I looked at some other reviews just to make sure that I wasn't making a mistake, but everybody seems to say that this has Dolby Vision um, and HDR, which HDR is, is crisp and nice, but it doesn't say it on the packaging. So I'll leave it at you guys with that. Movie looks great, but it doesn't say Dolby Vision, so I don't know. Um, it's got, you know, Dolby Audio, it's not an Atmos track, so it's still the 5.1, but it still sounds good, okay? Um, Atmos probably isn't necessary, necessary for this, in my opinion, for these movies, but, you know, some people may disagree with that, but I, I think the audio sounds perfect. So it's the same audio as what was found on the Blu-rays. Um, it's going to be found for all of these, um, but it still sounds good. And next we've got Scream 2. Now, I was very impressed with this, especially in the beginning. Um, if you guys remember the opening sequence with uh, Omar Epps and Jada Pinkett Smith going to the theater. So there's like, it's, you know, it's at night, lots of bright colors because of the, the movie premiere. Looked great right away. You can just be like, wow, this looks really good. Uh, take a look inside. What's different about this one is that you get not only the 4K disc, but behind the digital copy, you get a Blu-ray too, um, which is kind of weird for this set. The set has some redundancies, um, <laughs> mainly because, you know, this does come with the Blu-ray and there's another copy of the Scream 2 Blu-ray in this set and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but uh, I thought this looked great. Again, you've got your inky blacks. Uh, during the, uh, you know, the daytime sequences, it's sunshine, rainbows, kind of rainbows, I guess, considering the, the subject of the movie. Um, but it looks great. Uh, I can't complain with it. Another great transfer. Um, on the back here, this one does say it has Dolby Vision and Dolby Audio. So, um, you know, Dolby Vision is great. HDR is what really sets the, the 4K um, format above like Blu-ray, in my personal opinion. You know, you get like a whole wide gamut of colors and, you know, Dolby Vision's where it's at. You know, HDR10 is also great, HDR10+. Plus. If you, as long as you have HDR on your disc, you should be golden. And, uh, but yeah, another great transfer. I'm going kind of quick here because I, I want to get this out in, in one shot because it is pretty late. But great movie and uh, the gr transfer is really good too. We're going to talk about Scream 3. Now, again, same things apply. You know, great transfer, inky blacks, 
outdoor sequences look great. There is some sunshine uh, that you, we get our characters out into uh, early on and, you know, even through the end of the movie. And everything looks great. It looks, you know, it doesn't look washed out. The colors are popping, inky blacks. Um, you know, this is the most recent release that they have done. Um, originally, it was like two years ago, they, they did Scream for the, uh, the 25th anniversary. And then last year was, or the year before, I should say, was Scream 2. And then Scream 3, I think they doubled up on it, actually. So I think Scream 2 and Scream 3 came out last year. Uh, at this point, the only Scream movie that does not have a 4K release is Scream 4. And some are speculating that may happen this year. But again, who knows? But uh, again, take a look at the disc. Pretty bare bones disc. Uh, it's just the disc and the digital copy. Again, if you've seen these digital copies on here, I already claim these, they're mine, so don't even bother. Um, but, you know, plain disc, no Blu-ray with this one. Uh, odd that they gave you the Blu-ray with Scream 2, but not with Scream or Scream 3, but uh, it is what it is. So, all in all, uh, well, before I get to that, Dolby Vision and Dolby Audio is listed here again. No Atmos track. I don't think it really needs it. I think you know the 5.1 soundtrack that you get is pretty good. Nobody's muddled. Every you can hear every single word. Uh, great. Everybody's popping. Everybody looks great. Also included in this box set, you get the original trilogy on Blu-ray. Now this is what we were talking about with the DNR and on the transfers. So you know may not be such a you know, great thing, but you are getting the three movies on Blu-ray. Uh, let's take a look at these discs. They're pretty, pretty bare bones. You get, you know, Scream, your second copy of Scream 2, <laughs> and Scream 3. So yeah, like we said, a little bit of redundancy, you get another copy of Scream 2, which is odd for one box set. Um, and then you get two documentaries, Still Screaming and Scream the Inside Story, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Uh, but I think that's a great set. Plus you get digital copies um, in here too. So you really get two digital copies for each movie, but if you redeem the 4K ones, you don't need the digital copies for the Blu-ray set. Like I said, whole bunch of redundancy. Extra set of uh, digital copies and another copy of Scream 2 on Blu-ray is included in this set. So let's just recap what you get in this box set. First off, you get the 4K copy of Scream, best the film has ever looked. If you just want the copy of Scream, you can find that on Amazon. The link will be listed down in the description. You can get that for, eh, at the time of this recording, $14.99. Uh, if you want the steelbook, it'll be $25.99. Both will be linked down in the description. Next up, you got the copy of Scream 2. Um, again, over on Amazon, $14.99. Link will be down in the description. Um, there is a steelbook available for this, but it's not on sale. And I'm just going to put the things that are on sale down in the description. So, again, the best this movie has ever looked. Can't go wrong with this. All right. Next up, you have got... Scream 3. Uh, this will be linked down in the description at the time of this recording, $13.99. Uh, again, best movie has ever looked. Can't go wrong with this. And you get the three movie Blu-ray set. Granted, got some funky DNR, but $14.99 just for this. Link will be down in the description. Or, you know, if you're interested in all of them, you can pick up this complete box set for $36.99. That's a great savings, and uh, I am so glad I did this. Uh, I really enjoyed watching the movies again. It was great to see. You know, um, some people, you know, feel that this is where the, the movies stop. This is where the, the, the story stops is the original trilogy. Uh, again, we'll talk about where I rank them in another video, but... It was fun to see, nostalgia, it was cool, and again, these movies look incredible on 4K. So again guys, the link for this box set will be down in the description. Uh, I, you need to pick it up, and we're going to get to 
you know, how you can win the digital codes. And it's very simple. All you had to do was be one of the first people to watch this video. Uh, I'm going to give away these codes right there. So you can pause the video. All right. And they are there for you if you want them. These will redeem in 1080. These are the codes from the Blu-ray set. So uh, I think that's long enough. Um, yeah. So there you go, guys. Whoever watches it first gets those codes. I hope that, you know, brings you some joy. Hope you get to watch some, uh, some of the original Scream movies and enjoy them. And with that, we will see you next time. So please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Do all the social media things. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Ring the bell. Be sure to check out thewellroundedude.com. The website is like the hub of our whole channel, our whole brand. And, you know, our Amazon page is linked there. And, you know, the last five episodes of our podcast are linked there. You should definitely check it out. Uh, we talk about horror movies and stuff all the time over there. And, uh, yeah, our merch page is there. You can save 15% with the code DUDE15. And uh, with that, we will see you next time, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of the Scream Trilogy box set if you want if you want to down in the, the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear what you thought and what other good 4K releases are out there that you want me to review next. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you again for everything. Love you guys. Peace.